that leads to the uh, intake, not away from the intake, okay? I've had a student try to take the intake hose off or, or the vacuum hose off from the intake side and uh, uh, vacuum up the booster. <laughs> is that going to tell you anything? No. No, okay? Uh, uh, yeah, it'll tell you that the booster is okay, but you're still going to have some leaking, okay? The uh, uh, inside of the car might get smoked up, okay? It might. Because eventually, you know, if it's got a uh, bypass valve in the booster, it'll go, go around and get, get in the car, okay? All right. <clears throat> Before you do that, you, you got to take the vacuum hose off, and you got these uh, uh, leads. They're color-coded, red and black. They go on the battery, okay? Red goes on red. Black goes on black. Well, I take that back. Negative goes on negative. Positive goes on positive. Because I have seen some people put a, buy a, a, a black cable for the positive side and a red cable for the negative side just to just to just to throw the technician off i guess okay so don't go by the color code look at the battery it's got a plus and a minus okay uh, uh, to be able to do a, a smoke test first you need to do is take this uh, uh, duct intake duct off okay kind of loosen it up and also take everything off that's hooked up to it okay this one's easy you basically Okay, take it off. On this car, it'll still run without it. Okay, some of them, some of them, you, you can't take it off. So what you do? Hyundai you, Sonata. What's that? Hyundai Sonata. Hyundai Sonata, Mazdas, some Fords have a mass airflow sensor right by the air filter. You cannot unhook that and expect your car to run. It will not run. What does the mass airflow sensor do? Uh, Checks in how much air is going in the engine. Depending on that, the a computer puts dumps in fuel just to keep that 14 7 is to 1 ratio, okay? Then what you do is, you don't take it off and plug this. You plug it where it goes right before the mass airflow sensor. Simple as that, okay? All right. Um, what we use for that is we have a adapter kit that goes along with the uh, um, smoke tester, okay? We have a bunch of, bunch of these adapters that go in, okay? Uh, uh, this is for the uh, gas tank. See, this one's got a hole, okay, through the, through the middle, this cone. This goes in the gas tank. If you have to pressurize the gas tank and find out if you got any EVAP leaks, that's yeah, EP2. That's, that's e e EP2, okay? And uh, um, find, this, find the adapter that fits, okay? And then plug it up. It's probably not gonna fit. You need a smaller one, okay? There you go, okay? Put it nice and tight. Now we don't have a weak spot for it to leak, okay? Now we're ready to hook up the smoker and see if it's got any leaks, okay? Another thing that's in the kit is this uh, uh, bright little light that goes right along with the smoker, okay? If uh, somebody can uh, hook this up to that vacuum hose. Here's the hose that comes off of the smoker. Okay, this one's got a little little cone on it. Okay, a tapered cone that can probably fit in here, which is not a problem. Okay, nice and tight. If it's loose, you need to find something that'll make it tight. tight. Otherwise, it'll leak out of there. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, uh, the green light. There's two lights on the on the smoker or smoke machine. Okay, the green light and the red light. Green light will be on as soon as you hook it up to the battery. I'll show you to turn. I'll turn it off and show you. See how it turns off? That means that's just an indication of it's got power. Okay. And there's a button in the middle in the middle of these two lights. Okay. So you press the light on button on. Guess what? The le red light comes on. There's a little little heater at the bottom here. Okay. And uh, it's got baby oil in here. Okay. What it does that heater heats up the baby oil, and what happens when you heat up oil? It smokes, right? Okay. Basically, that's what we're using. Okay. And then what we got is a dial, flow control. How much flow do we need in the? Uh, uh, um, how much smoke do? Uh, how fast the smoke needs to be going in the intake manifold? So what we're gonna do? We're gonna crank this up. As you can see, the gauge is going up a little bit. Okay. Inches of mer mercury. Okay. Basically, what we're doing right now is we're smoking up the intake manifold, okay? 
Now what we need to do, we need to find a light or something to bright it up, brighten it up, and uh, sometimes you'll have a very small leak that you'll have to basically go under the car and check for it, okay? I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do, do a demo of uh, what a leaking, uh, um, what a leak would look like, okay? I can take this off. Uh, you need that car that we used did it on last time. See this vacuum hose right here? I'm gonna try to take it off. And you'll see, see that smoke coming out of there? Yes. Okay, that's basically what a leak would do, okay? Smokes. It would come out, okay? The smoke will try to come out of there, and uh, uh, that would be the weakest point. Leave it. Go take, take a break, drink some coffee or something, come right back and see if you got any smoke coming out. If you do, you get a light, go look at it closely, and double check it, okay? Then fix the leak. After you fix the leak, Guess what? Should shouldn't have any any lean codes, okay? <coughs> if you have vacuum leak on an OBD2 bubble, uh, on an OBD2, if you have a vacuum leak on OBD2, guess what happens? You get a lean code. What happens on OBD1 though? What? What happens on OBD1? You're out of luck. <laughs> yeah, that oh, that code would probably take a lot more than just a little vacuum leak to set that code because OBD1 is a uh, kind of slow to response. Mm -hmm to these kind of things. Okay. OBD2, man, uh, it's really sharp. CAN bus system, it won't even tolerate a small va pinhole vacuum leak. It'll set the code off right away. Wow.